Hi, this is Robin Moses. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm with Gatorade, <laughs> and we are doing a Christmas design. I start out with glass pink, two coats, and then I uh, made a Franken polish. It started out with being um, Sagreen the Teenage Witch, Sagrina the Teenage Witch. Um, I added some um, light green, or maybe more of a neon green. I broke the bottle, and so, here, <laughs> and so here's the color. I added a little bit to there and, and brightened this up a little bit because it was real, really foresty green. Then um, I am topping it with a petite's avoid heat or no, just kidding. <laughs> I, called it, I called it for <laughs> avoid heat or flame. <laughs> what the heck? It's called days. There, better and appropriate. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going. Like this. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put over a quick <clears throat> wash over this green. And that makes it into this really pretty holiday green. Like that. Okay, and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I am going in. Let me scroll. Okay. And I'm doing my candy stripes. So if you need to know how to do candy stripes, you dot along the edge of the, of the thing. Then pull and pull and then fill in. And then that way it, it goes along the edge. It stays real nice. Then I'm going to go once, twice. This doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to go over the top again. And then like this. Then I'm just going to go like this and cap them with the paint. Now I might add two coats of top coat to these ends because paint it, it wears off, but because there's so much polish underneath, it'll wear off in a real nice way to where the candy kind of just looks like it's um, shading. It, it, it will, it doesn't, it doesn't wear too bad. So, okay, so here we go. On this one, I'm going to put a dot in the center for you guys, but that's where my eye is looking, okay? Now with my brush, I'm going to do a C, and then I'm going to go pull, do a C, Then I'm going to take my brush and pull and pull and then go back from the center. It's kind of hard to hold your brush all the way, especially you can use a liner for this too and just dot in the lines if you're having a problem. Okay, so it's going like this, so I'm going to continue my line like that, like that. Do you hear fishy? She's. She's. <laughs> she have, is she dreaming? Yeah, she's snoring really loud. <laughs> My dog Rain snores so loud. She sleeps in the living room and we can hear her all the way from our room. Gosh. Fishy sleeps right by me and she starts that stuff and I like hit her with pillows. I'm like, Shut right? up! <laughs> Stop whining! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's the candy cane and I'll meet you back. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going in with a really pretty gold and green. This is a peridot, but, um, but you can add gold and green together and make your own. And I'm going to go in with just some little tiny stripes to add dimension. Kind of, And it kind of you can go in and fix up some of your screw ups too. Just by adding a little bit of extra boom to there. So I'm going in like that. And that. And that. Okay, on the candy, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna curl every place that I got a little bit too straight. And then I'm gonna just try to be real tricky and get in the middle of there, just for, just to see if I can. You know, like like I try to like set limits for myself that are completely off the chart, weird. But but it's just like when I do it, I'm like, yay! It's like little things I do in my head that make me happy. So there you go. <laughs> can I get up next to that line and go all the way to the center without missing anything? Nope. <laughs> So, can I go to the center without making anything again on two, two tries? Let's see. 
like I have my liner brush, I don't have my striper brush, so it's like an extra added little game I play. That's why I run behind sometimes, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right? We get a little carried Oops, away. Sorry about that. So anyways, there we go, and I will meet you back. Now for last but not leastly, I'm going with Inaz Red Glitter, uh, this is Crimson Glam, and I mixed it with Top Coat. Um, Crimson Glam, I never ever want to be without Crimson Glam ever, and I'm scared to say that because I don't usually get attached, but I love Crimson Glam a lot. So I'm going on the big uh, stripes with, ah shoot, I have to clean my brush. Oh, uh, this is my striping brush, I'm cleaning my striping brush with acetone in a mint dispenser. There's there's already some um, paint on here too, so I'm cleaning a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I was thinking, I let it build up. So that's how I get it all out, and then then I just take it onto the, the paper towel, wipe it off, ready to go. Okay, so now that it's clean, it should work, <laughs> it should work a lot better. <laughs> so now we'll go in and crimson, oh, see how yeah. that works, what? A clean brush. Imagine that. Okay, now that it's clean and the and the polish is wet, you want to work fast because as soon as the polish starts drying up, you want it. You, you're going to start having problems. So, um, see where there's like a little bit of green showing through on this one? Boom, finished. No worries. When I top coat, all of this other red is going to blend in too, and you won't know which. It's just going to it's just going to look real shiny. So I'm going to finish this out. All right, and here are the finished nails, and I hope you guys like them. I did a little tiny red draw, uh, stripe right across the top of the French manicure, perfect for the holidays, and they look very yummy. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so pass the word out, and if you have any questions, please look in the description box below or go to my Hey Robin playlist, and I answer all the questions there. Everybody have a great day, and bye. Everyone bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs>